Hi, I wanted to show you how to create a live stream, a view only lesson if you wanted to do that. So a lesson where participants can't join through audio or chat. Uh, if it's something that you wanna you know, lower the noise level, um, let's just say you wanted to do a tefillah that is view only but still live, um, then I wanted to walk through how you could do that. Um, let me share my screen and then I will walk through some steps that I've just done to create that event. I'm gonna do them one more time just to show you what I did. Um, so in Google Calendar, um, what I did earlier is I clicked on the time that I would want it to happen. Um, I'm just gonna go under more options here because you can just add all of your information at once. So, Let's say you wanted to have an event that was view only. Um, you can title it whatever you want here. Um, and let's say that it's 30 to nine um, and you want it every weekday morning. Uh, if you have a class at a certain time, you can do that time of the day and then repeat it every weekday. Um, so you may have done this before under ad conferencing, go to Google Meet, it'll create that link for you. Uh, you're gonna click this little down arrow here because you can add live stream at the bottom. Okay, so um, one thing you can do if you just wanna copy this link and send it out as an email to your students, you can do that right now. So you can copy that link address. That is the live stream link. Now, if you wanna invite students to this event, then at the moment they have both links, um, both the meet where they have all their options and the live stream link. and so. In theory, they could click on either one, but you just want them to have access to this one, just the live stream capability. <laughs> um, so as it says here, to do that, you wanna save this event and create a view only copy. So we're gonna save. Um, we're gonna go back to this one. <laughs> Sorry, there's two of them. I'm just repeating steps that I've just done. Um, so this is the one that we've just saved. And it said to create a view only copy. So we're gonna go to more actions and create view only event. So this is one that you can invite students to or invite participants to where they only see the live stream link. So it even says live stream in the beginning to remind you that that's what it is. And so when they get this invitation, the only thing they'll have is this link here, the live stream link. So in that way, it makes it super easy that they can just click on it and then that's, that's all that they can do. It doesn't give them the option to join the link as a person who could speak and chat. Um, it's just the live stream link. So they can view a live stream event where you're performing or you're talking or you're you know, doing whatever you need to do, um, but then the noise level is lower because the participants aren't all chiming in at once. So if that's what you want, you can just hit save and yeah, once again, I apologize because I have two of this event. Um, so this is the one that we've just saved and you can add your guests. Um, you can invite whoever you want and then this is the event they're gonna get where they can just click the live stream link and then join as a view only participant. Yeah, so, so that's it and I hope that was helpful, bye.